Yeah, 13 June, up here at my little building. Came up, <clears throat> had to get a new registration sticker for my truck, so that got me out the house. And uh, went ahead and come up here and washed down the John Deere 850. It cleaned up pretty good. I'm gonna get a hold of John Deere, see if I can't get the oil pan gasket and the valve cover slash rocker arm cover gasket and go ahead and set the uh, valve lash on it I want to drop the oil pan and this tractor is made in the 80s so we'll call it at least 40 years old and I've never pulled a pan off of a 40 year old tractor that wasn't full of sludge oils have come a very long way since then I don't know the history of this tractor, what kind of oil been used. And a little oil pan gasket is not that expensive. And to uh, drop the pan and clean it, not that big a job. And uh, also make it easier for me to see top dead center on the pistons when I'm setting the valve lash. Uh, I don't think between the two gaskets it's going to be 30 bucks. Just getting them here and it's going to take a bit. But she cleaned up good, and I am just absolutely drenched in sweat. Uh, it's only 85, but the humidity is through the roof. Uh, we got a strong thunderstorm this morning, uh, enough that it took out my satellite TV again because of the rain interference. And then uh, the lot's just wet. And I came in, I probably had two gallons of water on the floor on this drain that I blanked off. That was a little disheartening. I got a leak somewhere, but I don't know where. By the time I got up here, the water was just located in this area, and I didn't see where it's coming from the wall or a door area. So I need to come up when it's pouring down rain and see where the leak is and fix another leak. Up here on what would be the west end of the building is bone dry. Uh, it's probably going to be at the bottom of a door somewhere, I about guarantee it. And did uh, two good deeds for the day. Like I said, I had to go to the courthouse to get my registration for my truck. Older gentleman using a walker. And there's only four flights of stairs you got to go up. So I was able to help that man up the stairs. And the uh, time I got done, he got done. And uh, helped him back down the stairs. And uh, he, was, he was very happy for the help. Nice old fella. Everybody needs a little help every now and again. It ain't no big deal. A little bit of time out of my day means absolutely nothing. So anyway, I'm up here over there on the south side of the building where the little pad is. Spritzing down the tractor with my purple soap. And uh, heard somebody calling out. Come in here. Homeless guy on a bicycle. He to use my air compressor to air his tires up, take a fender off, oil his chain. And I had some extra Walmart bags, empty. I have some bags too? Yeah, go ahead, take some bags too. And uh, want to know how to get to Dallas. I said, well, ride west on I-20. You'll find Dallas sooner or later. Well, how much it costs to take the train? I said, a hell of a lot more than it costs to take the bus. The bus station is right by the train station. Take either one. It's probably twenty nine ninety five. take bus. They'll haul your bicycle in the luggage compartment. And he didn't bother to ask me any money because the answer would have been no. And uh, poor old Jurda, she's got back from the Philippines and it's 13 hour time difference. So she's still on Filipino time. I'm on Texas time. And we'll say hi in the morning about 30 minutes. Then I'm waking up and she's going to sleep. Poor thing. It'll take her a week or so to get her time to get back to Texas time and uh, been a couple days asked her a day if she wanted to go ahead and get up for a little bit and the answer was no and she's back to sleep and snoring so I know how she feels so ain't no rush well, I've got a whole lot going on I was going to try out my new Craftsman mower today and mow my little grass area but it's thundering and it's humidity is 90% or higher it's just uh, sticky sticky wet like I said, I'm drenched in sweat. 
and I've got between trailers and vehicles probably eight or nine license plates I got to renew every year. So the ladies up at the registration office, they all know me, uh, most of them by name. And uh, of course we'll chat, so they know I've had open heart surgery and how the recovery been going. And the uh, little girl asked me today how I'm doing, so I'm just tickled to death, I'm in my bib overalls, I got pockets. She laughed. So I know you was always in bib overalls. I said, yeah, you can't wear them, you miss them, trust me. So anyway, that's taken care of. I got a motorcycle. I got to get inspected and renew the registration on it here uh, before the end of next month too. But is what it is. And, uh, I'm gonna wait here a minute, see what the weather's going to do. I got my serial number off my engine and the tractor serial number off my A50, so I can call in the order for the gaskets tomorrow. That's all for this one. Thank you.